found Chase Elliott. Right, right, right. and others. Well, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, can't, look, I can't think right off. Um, Brad Keselowski. Ward Keselowski, his big break. Yep. Cole he Custer. He got it from Junior. Cole Custer. But Isn't I just think... Byron yeah. kid, JR Motorsports? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Byron. And then and Alex, Bowman. Yep. And Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman. So here's the thing that, that surprised me about this whole Junior announcement. The whole thing that surprised me was when he... I mean, they're not even halfway through the season. You know, I mean, they started racing a couple months ago, and he made the announcement <laughs> he's going to end it. <clears throat> I thought that if he did, it would be at the end of the year. Wouldn't make a big deal about it. Or it would be something they announced prior to a season, and he'd run a full season like his, like you know, Petty did or Gordon and those guys did on a farewell tour to say goodbye to everybody. You know, I just thought it was a weird time to make that announcement. Well, and you, you talk about the state of NASCAR. You've lost. NASCAR is going to change after this season. You're not going to. It's gonna, been changing for years. You're not going to have a Petty racing. Oh, Petty will be around. No, no, I'm talking. You don't. You won't have a Petty on the track. Well, not on the track. There isn't and one you, now. You'll and have you his cars on the track. And you won't have... An Earnhardt. An Earnhardt. His cars will be on the track. His cars will be on the track. Exactly. The name won't. Well, you've got Jeffrey Earnhardt. Well, Jeffrey, but... Meh. <laughs> I didn't say that's, that's a nephew or something, I think. I think it is, yeah. 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 But anyways, sorry. I, I had to... No, that, that was it was good, but yeah, I'm just saying... What was I saying? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the James Gang pizza, and I want to eat it. I want to go to commercial. You're standing but, over there, guarding um, it like a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Lucas Oil TV, uh, our series Thursday, three o'clock Pacific time, six o'clock Eastern. They're going to be televised. I can't remember what track it was. World of Outlaws Friday. They're at Lakes Lakeside Speedway in Kansas. Saturday, they're at the Selena Selena High Banks in Oklahoma. Um, I, I don't know if I'll see the World of Outlaws stuff, but I'll definitely see the Lucas. That's watching. all on Map TV, huh? Uh, the World of Outlaws wasn't. It was on. Oh, really? Yeah, it was on something I hadn't heard of. Yeah, you know, it was a weird channel. I don't know if it was just a regional broadcast, but it was. Uh, I actually wish they had broadcast World of Outlaws sprint cars um, more. Maybe I'm just missing it. I don't know. Well, you know, I don't know. You don't see them a lot on TV. You know, you get the Chili Bowl and. The big races, of course, but don't see them a lot on TV. And it's it, it, the world of outlaws is it's a whole different deal. You're starting to see more corporate sponsorship at that level, and you're starting to oh, see big a, time. a lot of NASCAR guys leaving to get involved with that. Yeah, I think it goes both ways. Does it? Yeah, yeah. But, there's there's a few drivers out there that come from the dirt. Absolutely, but I think when people, I think you're seeing. The national dirt scene, whether it's sprint cars or whether it's late models, growing how, faster than what? How about that Cody Vanderwall going from the dirt tracks? Bam, he's in a he's in a uh, uh-huh. uh, I want to say Southwest Tour, it's not South, Southwest well, Tour. It's the K and N K and N series, yeah, K and N West. Yeah. And that's a yeah. kid that's going to be he's going to do well. Yeah, you know, will. and he's you know, like you said, coming off the dirt tracks and going straight to the K and N West. But we're seeing a lot of, and I, when I say NASCAR involvement in dirt, we're starting to see a lot of owners get involved with the dirt scene because they recognize that's where a lot of talent is coming from. Yeah, yeah you know? absolutely. I mean, Stewart owns teams. Kenny Wallace owns teams. Ken Schrader owns teams. There, there's some big-time names. Clint Boyer owns Clint team. Clint Boyer. Um, there's, Brad Kozlowski. Yeah. Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson, Tony yep. Stewart. Yep, there's a lot of them. That, that are getting involved in that dirt world and – <laughs> I want to say I'm so harvesting, glad. harvesting. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys don't want to talk about NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, but it, it, this is helping make our point about how fast NASCAR is falling. But you know, whatever. Um, yeah, we're gonna. You know what? I am starving. I'm gonna take a quick break. We're gonna go into oh, right our first ta- uh, a first quick little commercial break. I'm gonna grab a couple slices of James Gang Pizza, the official pizza of Northwest Dirt News. We'll be right back to the Jetstream Welcome Massage Studio. Do you wake up in the morning in a slump? Looking for a new career or change of pace? Well, let Northwest Trucking Academy be your source. Dave Stahl and his team of highly experienced instructors will give you the skills you need. Whether you have no idea what the brake pedal is 
or you just need a refresher course. Northwest Trekking Academy will give you a customized training program to meet your needs. In as little as four weeks, you can be on your way across the country with your new career. Located on Highway 99 in Tangent, Oregon, Northwest Trucking Academy will get you ready for a new fast-paced and highly rewarding career. Give them a call at 541-248-3461 or look them up online at nwtruckingacademy.com. Classes start the first Monday of every month and don't forget to use promo code MOXIE. That's M-O-X-I-E and receive $100 off your tuition. Jetstream Aqua Massage, located in the Heritage Mall, is your answer for the relaxation you've been looking for. Our massage beds will help you with stress, anxiety, increase circulation, muscle tension, improve sleep, pain reduction, decrease muscle spasms, increase your range of motion, and help with the everyday aches and pains of life. And at only $1 per minute, we'll save you time and money. 20 minutes in one of our machines is equal to one hour of traditional massage. We have gift certificates available for the perfect stocking stuffers. All TENS units are on sale now, and don't forget your BioFreeze. Jetstream Aqua Massage. It's not just a massage, it's an experience. Crocker's Cars is located on Sandy M Highway across the street from Walmart in Lebanon, Oregon. We've been providing the finest pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs since 1983. Crocker's Cars has been in business for 31 years, offering quality used vehicles that meet your needs. With our experience and professionalism and no hassle buying, customers really do come first here at Crocker's Cars. Crocker's Cars, where quality is the difference. Look us up on the web at crockerscars.com for a full line of inventory or give us a call at 541 258 2175 541 258 2175 Race fans, are you ready for the biggest, baddest, fastest street stock tour this side of the Mississippi River? The Road to the Iron Giant is coming to a racetrack near you. Eight different tracks that will test the best talent in the West on both dirt and asphalt. Don't miss the kickoff to the 2017 series on April 29th at the Bobby Morley Memorial at Sunset Speedway. On May 20th, we prepare for the war at the southern border at Southern Oregon Speedway in White City. Hold on to your lug nuts, race fans. June 3rd, the street stocks take on the sportsman division of Madger Speedway. If that wasn't exciting enough, they're going to do it all again on June 10th. In round number two, the street stocks versus sportsman of River City Speedway in St. Helens. June 24th, we head to Codge Grove Speedway to honor the memory of racing legend Mark Howard at the 11th annual Mark Howard Memorial Wallbanger Cup in a 52-lap, $1,026 to win feature event. July 29th, things get hot and heavy when the dirt cars invade the asphalt at Douglas County Speedway. August 26th, a tidal wave of action hits Coos Bay Speedway as the best of the best battle at the beach. September 3rd wraps up the action as the series championship gets settled at the second annual Iron Giant Championship Night at Willamette Speedway in Lebanon. One driver walks away with the Iron Giant trophy and the title of Iron Man. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> Now, back to the Jetstream Aqua Massage Studio for more Northwest Dirt News live on Spreaker Radio. <laughs> oh, man. Barely made it. There we go. Good timing. Holy craggy. How many laps did you get in, Warren? It's a small mall. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you got probably got about six laps in. I think that's how many pieces of pizza Corey had. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got four pieces in real quick. You can't say no to James Gang. I'm running, I'm running laps, and you guys eat all the pizza while I'm gone. That wasn't me. I only had three pieces. If you don't get in on that stuff, it, it goes so quick. It, you just you got to get it. It's, it's James Gang, and it leaves, and it's gone. Um, Mike Shank listening says our audio is cutting in and out. I think Mike probably has an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> he had a Galaxy mic you know, that wouldn't. I mean, <laughs> that's your opinion. You know, you know, Corey. We got to respect your opinion, and that's all it is. <laughs> well, you know, honestly, I'm pretty sure if it's Papa Shank. I'm pretty sure it's probably his hearing aid battery cutting in and out. It could be that, too, or he's just Mike, out there in the hills. Mike, you don't have to take that. You know where Mike is. I'll, knock, I'll knock him out for you. Okay. <laughs> you and what Crescent he's, Ranch? He's always on, the, on this old guy kick, so uh, let's show these boys. Hey, I'll tell you right now, Mike might be old, but he's a tough customer. I bet yes, he is. he is. He'll put some stuff on you, Ajax won't take off. <laughs> the classic Corey Penfold line. I love it. 
So, anyway, now we got a lot of national stuff out of the way. We can start talking about local stuff. And we're going to actually add something to the lineup. I know it came in just right before the show started. Uh, we got a phone call, which is, is good information. I think everybody wants to hear, and we're going to talk about that here in just a little bit. But let's kind of go back to last week's racing action and start with Coos Bay. Um, they did get a show in down there, and we will talk about, um, you know, just we're going to just rattle off their winners, kind of talk about car count and um, just some stuff I read, down, you know, on their website down there. So, Any local boys go down there? Uh, depends on what you want to call local. The wing sprints was Kyler Barraza. This is what worries me about Coos Bay right now. They've got the, the NASCAR sanction, and that's cool. That's a cool deal. <clears throat> And we don't want to see racetracks fold. I mean, we just don't want to. And I know it's going to take some time with the new promoter getting back in there, building the show and building the, the product, if you want to call it that. Seven wing sprints. Kyler Barraza picked up the win. I used to run with Kyler back when he was a kid, and we were ran we ran the uh, micro sprints. Talented driver. Kid knows his way around a dirt track. Um, super dirt late models. Now, you want to call him local, Trent Elliott, the 4E. He picked up the win. Seven cars in that division. Right on. Good for him. Yeah. Sportsman late model. Mike George was second. I think he's the points leader down there. He was second. What? Yeah. (laughs) I don't know where you're getting. I don't know what that is. Dude, I swear I saw Trent and Mike at Cottage Grove this weekend. Well, I'm telling you right here on their website, it says Trent Elliott picked up the win. I'm telling you the 67 Black Diamond was at Cottage Grove. Well, the 67 Black Diamond is Mike George. Yep. And they've got him listed as second. I can only tell you what I read. That's all I know. I couldn't get any contact with those guys. You didn't, you didn't go to Coos Bay? No, I didn't. I went to the Lincoln City. <laughs> 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 so I figured I better get one last weekend off from racing before we really get into it. And, yeah. uh, sportsman late model, Brady Montgomery, eight cars, street stocks, Justin Crosman. This was disappointing. Two cars in the street stock division down there. Wow. I don't know what's going on. Many outlaws, Rob Laver. There's a name you're familiar with. Yeah. The Bug Germinator. Oh, yeah. You remember yeah. The, old, the old bug germinator back in the outlaw days, open comp outlaw days? Yeah. Volkswagen. I, still doing it. Yeah. That's He's crazy. still doing it. Now, you remember him running that little late, that little tiny Volkswagen against right. the big wedge cars of Mark Howard and Robert Sprague and Bob Boyd and Russell. And he was competitive. He, very. Very. He, he won a lot of times. Yep. A lot of races. They called the car the bug germinator, had Wimpy up on the top. Yeah. Yeah. That, neat, was, that was cool. A neat little race car. He's still, believe it or not, in a Volkswagen. Is he really? Yes, he is. Down at Coos Bay. Uh-huh. That's his home track now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Wasn't he out of, what, Sweet Home before? No, when he, he was at a When uh, he ran up here? North he was, Bend. Oh, wow. Interesting. Well, those are the latest results, so. Anyway. Are they different? <clears throat> uh, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> so, just telling you what I read. Right. Um, Cottage Grove. Cottage Grove's got some cool stuff going on this week. Do you guys read about this? I've heard I'm about it, but not. Corey, so, give, give me the lowdown. Well, here's the thing: you've got a promoter, and and Heather Boyce down there at Cottage Grove, and we know what she's doing. You know, last it was the first hundred people got on, get in free. Or, yeah, it's a know. great promotional deal. It's how you get people in the stands. Yeah, that's bad. Listen, that's to right. what she's doing this week: class of 2017 grad night, all high school seniors, free entry. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Get some younger em. kids in there to bring their parents in. I like it. Get them hooked. Yep. Uh, Cottage Grove will be running sprints, mods, IMCA sport mods, street stocks, and harness this week. So a good show. You know, that's, that's I we- think. Weather permitting. <clears throat> well, and we'll get into that yeah. because it's an interesting forecast for certain areas of, of the state. Um, I thought that uh, that's a kind of a, it's something I haven't heard of, a promotion like that. Get the high school grads in for, you know, the seniors. That's a good one. Yeah, I, I've never heard of that one before. I mean, that kudos to Heather. I mean, she's pulling pulling another one out of her, her bag of tricks. What does that do? That gets that, kids that would otherwise be out running around, partying with their buddies, a chance to come into the races for free. We never did that when we were in school. You shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie to these people. <laughs> <laughs> they know better. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. So, I mean, but this is cool because it gives these kids an opportunity to come in for free and see what racing is all about. And who knows what you do. You might If you get one kid hooked or, you know, and you keep him on a positive road, I thought it was a great promotion. I thought that was it is. a, a good deal. Any kind of promotion like that is, is good. Absolutely. When Especially it deals, when it comes to kids. Yes, I was going to say that. <clears throat> um, very, very cool. Very positive. Good Willamette thing. Speedway scheduled to run. Super late models. Super sports. Sportsmen, street stocks, and hornets. 
That, that'll be great. I hope we I hope we get a race in soon. We may not make